Hello guys, so uh, I haven't done a video for a while, but this is a video of some kitchen knives that I just bought. So um, these are Japanese handcrafted knives from a Japanese knife maker called Yu Kurosaki. I hope I pronounced that right. I uh, ordered these through Inochi Manila who are kind of a resale uh, distributor of various um, Japanese knives here in the Philippines. They came uh, nicely packed, uh, imported directly from Japan. And um, as you can see, I've got a few different sizes here. Um, so I'm lacking one um, type of knife to complete this set, um, which didn't have in stock at the moment, but I've got these. Uh, so one of them is kind of a carving knife. We've got a, a small paring knife. We've got a few kind of multi-purpose kitchen knives. And uh, what's special about the Japanese knives is they're made out of a harder steel, um, which makes them more brittle, so don't drop them. They're more likely to break, um, but they will hold their edge um, sharper and for longer so you can do very precision um, kind of cutting with them plus as well they're handcrafted so it just makes them really kind of nice so really nicely presented came in this box we've got some um, stickers and advertising stuff from Inochi Manila which is nice of them to include and this is the uh, actual knife itself so um, let's take off the paper and take a look at it so my first impression of this is it's actually a lot lighter than you would think it would be for the knife this size, um, but it's uh, beautifully done. You see the patterning there, the hammering. Um, we've also got the uh, kind of initials there in Japanese characters on the side there in kanji. Um, so really nice. This is kind of a carving knife. I'm going to use this for carving meat. Um, now you do have to be careful. Um, not to hit bones and things, you know, as I say, it is a um, more brittle type of um, material, the steel that's used, so it will chip uh, if you hit hard stuff. So you have to take a little bit of extra care with them. We don't wash them in dishwasher. It does have a nice uh, oak wood handle, um, so you do uh, hand wash them. Got to be careful with them because they are rather sharp. Um, and... Uh, for storing it, I've got this block here, which is a magnetic block that we can put it on because um, putting them onto the uh, magnetic block like what I've got here already, like this one here, this can this is metal, it can kind of scratch them, um, scratch the blades. And also uh, the kind of blocks where you insert them, um, they can become prone to kind of rusting inside of those. So... We keep them on a block like this. Um, they're accessible. They're a beautiful item to have on display. And uh, it also protects the knives. So uh, let's go ahead and open up the others and um, put them on the block and see what they look like. And so there we have it. Uh, our uh, Yukurosaki knives. Um, now I have to cook something with them, I suppose. And uh, I'll do another video review as to what I think of them. Um, so another thing uh, about these is uh, you don't want to use a edge grain chopping board. So what I mean by that is um, this is an edge grain chopping board where you're looking at the side of the, um, the side of the wood. So this has been kind of cut into planks. What you want is an end grain board, um, more like this one where the tree has been cut in half. So you got the end grain and that um, will be softer on the actual knives. Um, so you don't really want to be chopping on this because the harder um, the surface, the more it can blunt and also potentially damage um, the blades because these are, as I say, a different type of material um, to what your normal kind of European kitchen knife, which is a softer metal. It won't keep its edge for as long, um, but... Uh, um, y y y you can chop on uh, on any kind of surface with those and you can hit a bone, it's not such a big deal. Whereas with these, yeah, you do have to take a little bit more care with them. They are specialist knives for specialist purposes, really. Um, but they look really cool here in the kitchen and um, we'll see how they cut.